One of the topics that I'm really excited to talk about today is how to track your menstrual cycle on Notion. Now, this might be something that you might have thought, mm, can I do that on Notion? And for a long time, I didn't really consider doing it, but recently I found a really good way to do it. And I've also just been getting into learning more about it. So I just wanna share with you today some ways that you can do that on Notion. Hey, my name is Jenna. I talk a lot about marketing, Notion, and productivity here on the channel as well as wellness. And so today I'm gonna to be talking specifically about how to use Notion as well as some other tools to track your cycle. So let's talk a little bit about the menstrual cycle before we get into why to track it on Notion and some tools that I personally use. I also have a free template down below and I also added it to my life tracker template which we'll also walk through. So one of the things that I've realized over time is that we as a society have not really come together and really taught women about the menstrual cycle and how we can actually optimize and utilize it effectively. You know, men have a 24 hour cycle, basically the circadian rhythm, women have it too, but we also have something called the infradian rhythm, which is a 28 day cycle where different parts of the month, we have different levels of energy, different focuses and for us women, being able to harness that energy and be able to know exactly where we are in our cycle and be able to be productive in the way that we are in that phase is actually so powerful. I recently started reading this book called In the Flow and it has been absolutely game changing for me to learn about all this stuff that I never knew growing up. I didn't know there were four phases of a cycle and I wanted to learn so much more. So actually this week on my podcast, The Optimization Toolbox, I have an expert in, in this this topic which is the cycles as well as she is a functional medicine practitioner and she just knows a lot about this stuff we're gonna be talking about specifically what these four phases are and how you can maximize them to the best of your abilities because why not if you're trying to be a better person you're trying to be more productive you're trying to uh, you know have just a better life experience why not go after that. I'm not gonna be talking too much today about the menstrual cycle. You should definitely listen to that podcast episode because we go really in depth if you wanna learn more. Today I'm gonna be talking specifically about how to map it out on Notion. Inside of Notion, this is kind of why I decided to do this. So in my life tracker, every day it pops up so it lets me know where I'm at. I think that's the biggest thing for me is I never knew where I was at in my cycle and tracking it was always a struggle. So here's a couple of tools that I use to start knowing exactly where I am in my cycle. And every woman has a different number of days uh, for their cycle. So it's, it's not, it's basically up to you to figure out when your cycle comes. I wanna give a little backstory. I have had really irregular periods my whole life and it's something only recently, I feel like I've kind of gotten on track. But before I did that, uh, one thing that I did was I recently got a new Apple Watch. This is the Apple Watch version eight, which is the newest one. And the reason I got it was they recently started adding something called basal temperature tracking. So if you wear your Apple Watch at night, it can actually track your wrist temperature, which actually really helps you know where you're at in your cycle because your temperature rises and falls depending on where you're at in your cycle. So for me as someone who didn't want to take my temperature every day, I was like, why not just get an Apple Watch that tracks it? And then it syncs with Apple Health. So I actually don't use any period apps. I use the Apple Health app because it's a little bit more secure. I've heard some things about some of these apps they are not super secure. So I just use the Apple Health one and it actually now after two, two cycles of using my Apple Watch, it now can tell me when it will estimate when my period will come next, which is super exciting. So I do track my period on Apple Health, but what I use for Notion is more for the productivity and just the lifestyle of knowing where I'm at in my cycle. The template that I have below that you can sign up for and get for free basically just tells you what each phase kind of comes with. So it kind of just helps you know. And then you, if you want to have like a calendar for that. Um, otherwise, I have also integrated it into my Life Tracker template. So you can set up um, one of the four steps of the, of the phases and know exactly where you are in your cycle. So let's just get to Notion. Um, I'll kind of walk through a little bit what that looks like and talk a little bit more about it. And then hope you guys uh, find this useful and make sure to check out the optimization toolbox. I come out with new episodes every week with guests, including coming up some very, very big Notion guests. So I'm really excited about that. So let's just head into Notion and I'll show you guys how I use it. All right, so I wanted to walk through the free template with you guys just to kind of show you how you can use it. So if you wanted to make this like a, a page on your you know, Notion, basically what you can do is you can figure out where you are in your cycle. And then what you can do is you can have it stretch out over how many days you believe it'll be. So right now you'll see that I have the luteal phase 10 to 14 days. 
you can obviously just change it based off of where you are and it will basically you can just drag and drop where and then you would just start it over so you could duplicate this the next month etc you could plan out the whole year if you want um you can also view it in a weekly view which is actually a new thing that just happened with notion let me show you you can now view everything in a week view so you can look at your week or you can look at your month hopefully they'll do daily which would be awesome <laughs> that would be my next thing that i would love um but basically right now you'll see um you can do it by the month etc so so and then below i have some resources some books that i like i might add some more to this um if you're seeing maybe an updated version of this template. I also, once the episode comes out, I will have that linked as well. So you can listen to that episode where we talk really in depth about this topic. But I wanted to kind of walk through some of the things that it also comes with, which is the guide. So I've actually was working on something in Canva. I was gonna make a PDF and I'm like, why don't I just put this in Notion? I've been kind of gathering different things I've learned about the different phases. And so one of the things I never see is like skincare. So like different times of the month, you're gonna have different types of skin. You know, so I talk about that in each phase, you know, talk about the food you should eat, the hormones, uh, productivity, what you should be doing there, fitness, supplements, mood, etc. So basically what this is, is just a guide. It's going to be very helpful for you. I I'm actually going to start using this myself. I just made this today, uh, but you can download it below for free and then you can track your cycle. You can add whatever you want to this, um, that you want. And I hope that that's helpful. I also want to walk through how I've added it to my life tracker template, which is my biggest template. It's the one that um, most people get because it has all the stuff that you need in your life. So let's walk through that next. So I have this template. You, you can watch my other videos. I do a ton of tutorials on this, but if you scroll down to the daily life tracker, um, I've recently redone this and I, I think it works so much better than before. You can now see that I've added an option for you to just quickly know where you're at in your phase. So if you click into the life tracker, you'll see that I've added something called menstrual cycle, and then I've added the four options. So you will have to go through and look at this from a monthly perspective and, and you have to add it yourself. It's not something that's going to auto populate because again, everyone has different number of phases, but if you look ahead and you're like, all right, I have a 28 day cycle. Here's, you can plan out the rest of your year and just, uh, quickly switch the, the opt down, the drop down option. And just, so that way, when you're going to your day, this is automated every day you will see exactly where you are. And it's really, really easy to track your cycle that way. So I just, I thought that was a helpful add on. Obviously, if you're a guy and you have my template, you can always remove it, but I thought it would be helpful for the women or those who menstruate to actually use. So anyways, hope that that's helpful. That's how I use it inside of Notion. Basically, I just added it to my life tracker template, um, which also tracks everything else from your meals to your outfits, steps, weight, etc everything that you need. Um, so if you want to download both, you can have both and then you can maybe uh, pop that that free one inside of here as a way to just have another guide or add it to your Notion gallery. So anyways, hope that this was helpful. This is how I personally now track my 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 period and over in Notion and I hope that this was a helpful video and make sure to listen to the episode for more on on this topic.